Right. There should be a very clear cut master plan should be done. The regulatory mechanism has to be liberalized. Then only the concept will develop. And it's not that overnight somebody can build a stamp. Even the Singaporeans or Japans, anybody comes in. It's not like a, you can connect a bridge, but you can't develop a city where habituation has to happen. In the context of smart cities, presently the process has not been clarified yet. And in this budget also there has been no mention of the smart cities um, project itself. So what expectation in that context would you have from a smart city bro? The smart cities as being conceived by the central government are not essentially the greenfield cities. I think you know they are trying to derive a criteria of picking up 100 cities from the existing cities. So, so let, let me just uh, elaborate on the idea of smart cities. What, what is different about it from being just a city already? So the first task for the smart cities project is to first enable a city to be smart. That is basically you start placing sensors, placing various uh, measuring devices which gather information about the city. Stage two is understanding what that information is and responding to it. Public transport also is, in, uh, is, is a very important area where resources are consumed. So these are areas where for instance you know one can definitely bring down the demand on fuel as well. The important thing step one I think is to evolve a set of metrics that will that can be used. See what is the meaning of smart cities that it should be ecological sustainable and uh, database integration should happen. For that the government has allocated 7030 crores. So per <coughs> city how much cost it comes 70 crores. 70. Do you think that with 70 crores we can develop really much smart cities? 30,000 crores per annum are required over the next 20 years. True. Here what we have got is 7,000 crores, 30,000 crores per annum for the next 20 years. Because these smart cities are what are cities we know are not going to be overnight uh, uh, castles in the air. The idea is if you have the technology in place to tell you what is happening on a day to day basis and you have the ability to respond to that in a smart way, not in the way we are doing now you will be able to solve those problems on a day to day basis. It is not a master plan for 15 years ahead. So you are master planning sure. every day. Do you ever, have you ever tried to assess how under staffed or under skilled these local bodies are? They do not even completely. have planners. Uh, the real estate sector especially is going to face a different kind of competition now. You are talking about with REITs coming in, with other investment sources coming in, you are talking about uh, a, a city which is definitely going to be difficult to be inclusive and then in that context it, you know all development will have to be seen including smart cities. Now ultimately any infrastructure has to be accompanied by economic ac activity. We, if you really look at the map of uh, you know basically clusters, uh, the real estate clusters as well. Most of them would be in places where you have for instance the SME clusters already existing. See for instance Tamil Nadu if you take uh, there are almost about six cities that are have a population of between one to five million. Smart city concept, as Mr. Richard just pointed out, is a good concept. It is the uh, need of the hour uh, in terms of decongesting the already uh, bustling metropolitan cities. Right. Okay, subject to having a clear blueprint, clear way forward, with a sincere and uh, a committed support from the central and state governments.